Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a basic chat bot using Amazon Web Services. Uh, before we get started you will have to create an AWS account and you can do that just by going to aws.amazon.com and get started for free. You will need a few things uh, to log into this such as a credit card although it won't charge you anything um, but you will need to input a credit card as well as verifying emails, adding a new password, putting in uh, contact information like address and things like that. So it will take a bit to get started with AWS, but once you have that account, you can log in and you'll see your console home here. So once I'm logged in, I can see this dashboard here and I can click up here on services. I can scroll down on the left here to machine learning and then over down even farther, I'll click on Amazon Lex, but you can see all the different applications and uses of AWS. I'm gonna click here on Amazon Lex, and it's going to ask me uh, my region. And so I'm gonna go over here to United States, and here we are. This is a dashboard for our, our Lex bot. So the first thing I wanna do here is press Create Bot. I want to start with a blank bot, although they do have some templates here. I'm gonna give my bot a name. I'm gonna call it Order Drinks. This bot is used to get a drink order, okay? And we're gonna create a role with basic Amazon Lex uh, permissions, and it's not subject to the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and we're gonna go ahead and press Next, and it's going to start basically creating our bot for us. You can choose a voice to play if you do want this to be a voice bot. Hello, my name is Ivy. And you can kind of choose the different Hello, voice that you might want. Hello, my name is Kimberly. And that's Let me fine know with how me. I I'm just going to go ahead you. and press done. And successfully created. My bot is created. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create an intent. Okay, and an intent is basically we're trying to get someone to get an order across or figure out what they exactly want to do with our bot. For us, we want them to order a drink, right? So their intent for coming and using the bot is to order a drink. In the end, that's what they're gonna get. And since my bot is called order drink anyway, that's kind of all we're trying to do is get their drink order. I'm just gonna call it order. That's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get their order. Now that we've created a new intent, I'm gonna scroll down here to sample utterances. And basically, it's anything that a user might say or type in to invoke the you know, intent. So we might say, I want a drink. I'm thirsty. Give me a drink. <laughs> Whatever it may be that we want to kind of get the conversation started, and then we have an initial response from the bot to say, okay, I can help you with that. Great let's get started and so now what we can do is we can ask them some questions to get some more information about them and so we can get them the proper order so think of them as variables I want a coffee that is caffeinated that is 12 ounces something like that so those are three pieces of information that we might want to gather from our user so, and those are called slots, so they might change, but they are variables at this moment, and we're going to go ahead and press Add Slot. And I'm going to call this one, you know, what type, drink type. Okay, we want to know what type of drink, because we have cappuccino, we have coffee, or we have tea. And then they have this thing called slot types. Okay, so if I was asking them their city, Amazon has these kind of built-in verification libraries to where it can say, okay, is this an actual city uh, or if it was a country so that they can't just type anything in or if they do, they can look at these language libraries and try to figure out what exactly you meant. Same with like a number, you know, if they put in, uh, you know, their age as a word, 22, T-W-E-N-T-Y, it can know, oh, I, that is a number, even though it's not an actual number that we might think of. Um, and so right now, we do not have a slot type for what we're trying to input here, and uh, that's okay. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and just make a new one called uh, their name. You know, let's get their name, your name. 
in this case, we do have a slot type for that. It's called first name. And I can say, um, first off, what is your name? Okay, we can capture that piece of data. Great. So then, I, and we'll come back to slots here in a second. I just want to show you wide view how these things work. Then down here, we can uh, confirm and say, you know, once they have given us information in the slot, we can, you know, confirm. Great to meet you. And we can push back their name, okay, using curly brackets. And the name of our slot up here was your name. Okay, think of again as a variable. The variable name is your name, okay? So we can come back here and type in your name and it will push it back to the user once it's confirmed. Then I can go down here and basically the conversation will end for now. I don't wanna do anything else. Uh, we don't have anything to fulfill, like it's not gonna go to a database and order anything yet. And you know we'll work with the closing response here in a minute. Before we get any farther, I'm just gonna go ahead and press save intent. So all we've done so far is we just captured their name and we can go to build and what this is going to do is going to build our bot for us and we're going to be able to test it once it is compiled and we can actually talk to the bot using some of the invocation utterances that we've created and then uh, we can put in our name and then it can push it back to us okay now that our bot is done i can press the test button and i can get started so again, the way to get this bot rolling is to say something to the effect of give me a drink, I'm thirsty, and those kinds of things. So I'm just going to type in drink. And then it said, great, let's get started. First off, what is your name? And I'll say John. And great to meet you, John. Great, my bot works so far. It did capture my name, John, and then through this slot, and then it pushed it back through this confirmation.